What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, caps, and sides. Everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. These are psychic, intuitive messages, so it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. I um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're 13,050 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, Chakra. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private confidential, private, confidential way to donate for privacy and confidentiality purposes. I do not publicly display your name if you choose to donate privately through my PayPal. Blah, blah, blah. Through my PayPal. Just saying. Okay. So we're going to get started. I received a channel message. I did the daily tea earlier today um, on the Black Magic Coven and the psychic reviews. Um, but I received another one. So um, I'll go ahead and do it. Y'all know I'm going to get out today um, and do my thing. But I'll do this one real quick. And then when I get back, I might um, finish up the blow ups uh, for June, possibly. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was... Um, um oh shoot hold on oh yeah through um through many series of chain events um someone that uh purchased a motorcycle on stolen money it is about to get stolen soon that was the first one um and um there was another one there was a motorcycle and there was another one hold on i gotta think of the other one. Oh crap i had a brain fart there was a motorcycle and there was another thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Four wheeler. Yep. Yeah. And through many series of chain events, um, someone that purchased a four wheeler on stolen money. It is, I heard it's about to quit working dead engine failure. That's what I heard. So you plug in how it resonates. I knew there was another one. So, we have somebody that purchased, uh, now, if this is not you, it's not you, you have to plug yourself into the story where you resonate fit. These are psychic intuitive messages, so I channel it in from you guys' energy and people connected to you's energy. So, if it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to. There's 13,050 people on here, so you have to plug the messages in, how they resonate, okay? But somebody out there in my collective, I'm feeling, or somebody connected to my collective, they purchased, have purchased a... Um, motorcycle on stolen money. Through many series of chain events, the motorcycle is about to get stolen. Which, that sucks. But they shouldn't have stolen money. And that's just the truth. So, motorcycle, situation one. It's about to, through, through me, it hasn't got stolen yet. It sounds like through many series of chain events, it's about to. That's situation one. Situation two, uh, four -wheel, a four-wheeler, aka an ATV. So, ATV, a four-wheeler. Through many series of chain of events, I heard it's um, that was purchased on stolen money as well. I heard, and through many series of chain of events, I heard it's about to quit working. Um, engine failure, engine failure. So I, I didn't hear if it was under warranty or not. Um, this sounds like negative karma. There's a reason I'm channeling this in. It sounds like it's negative karma from the universe. I mean, I y'all know I get the I just channel in what I channel in and deliver it to you guys, but. There's a reason I'm getting it. So it, these are both upcoming in the universe. They both, they're, what they both have in common is they're both upcoming in the universe. They are both recreational vehicles, a motorcycle and an ATV, and they were both stole, uh, they were both purchased on stolen money. I don't know if it's the same person or different people. Only these people know their stories, not anybody else, okay? But the motorcycle's about to get stolen. And the ATV... So this person person used per, uh, purchased it purchased it with stolen money, but it's about to get stolen from them. The motorcycle, the ATV, it was purchased on stolen money, but through many series of chain events, I heard it's about to quit working. Engine failure. So anybody doesn't know, engines are very expensive, very freaking expensive, especially if you're not if it's not under warranty, very expensive. So I. Whoever that is for is what I'm trying to say. I'll pull pull a couple cards and see if we can um, clarify, get any extra messages. But 
however that resonates, okay? I just heard whiskey in the gyro. Now, oh, okay, 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 okay. I just heard whiskey in the gyro, and now I'm hearing the song whiskey in the gyro. Like the song playing in my head, whiskey in the gyro. For anybody doesn't know, whiskey in the gyro is a song by Metallica. It's called whiskey in the gyro. I love that damn song. I've loved it for since I was a young teenager. Um, yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Whiskey in the gyro. Maybe one of these people, they like the song Whiskey in the Gyro. Or they like Metallica. Oh my God, I love Metallica. Yeah, now they call it up. I, I remember it as whiskey in the gyro. It's pulling up as whiskey in the jar. But I'm hearing it as whiskey in the gyro. I can't play it on here because of copyright infringement, but this is it, yeah. Wow. Okay. So maybe one of these people likes whiskey, uh, whiskey in the gyro, or they like Metallica or um, what have you, what have you, or they play Metallica or they play whiskey in the gyro. I'm not sure um, whoever these people are and how do they resonate. Okay. I feel for a lot of you guys, you might know these people is what I'm feeling for a lot of you guys. Spirit messages you have for the collective. And a broken fishing rod is about to become very significant to one of these people very soon. Very expensive rod. And a broken fishing rod is about to become very significant in one of these people's lives. Um, broken fishing rod. So a broken fishing rod, fishing rod. Um, this is a lot of loss. My God. Um, but these people are thieves. <gasps> Excuse me. So a broken fishing fishing rod is about to become very significant in one of these people's lives as well. So one of these people likes to fish or somebody connected to them likes to fish or hopefully something violent doesn't happen with the broken fishing rod and that's why it ends up broken. I'm not sure. Somehow a broken fishing rod, fishing rod is significant in one of these people's lives that have stolen either the money for the ATV or the 
Um, uh, motorcycle. Number 41 or 43 can be very significant numbers in one's life. 40, 41 or 43 can be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. 41 or 43. Um, we have... Okay, so the crown chakra reverse. Man holding a coin reverse. Yeah, the money loss coming uh, for the stolen um, motorcycle or the engine failure ATV. Um, and then they wasn't using their head when they stole the money because we have crown chakra reverse. They were not using their head, their intuition, not thinking logically when they stole this money. They were just thinking of the, their selfish, greedy ass self, whoever these people are. And one of these people is about to go through a divorce soon. And one of these people is about to go through a divorce soon. And one of these people is about to go through a divorce soon. So um, that could be the man holding a coin reverse to money loss with a divorce. Now, divorces can be contested or non-contested. I'm not sure if it's going to be contested or non-contested. I don't know what kind of assets these people have. I do know they're thieves, though, so I'll tell you that. So you plug it in how it resonates. But um, divorce energy coming. Um, they probably, the person that married the, this person, they probably married for money. I mean, and I'm just being for real. I didn't hear they did, but I'm feeling maybe some of them they did. They married for money. You plug in and how it resonates. That's why I've been uh, single for so damn long. I don't want nobody coming at me just for my money, and I wouldn't come at somebody for their money. And that's just the damn truth. I want If I want to be with you, I want to be with you. I don't care um, about the money. And I mean, I do care. You have to be responsible. You have to be responsible and logical financially. There's many checklists I have on my checklist. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not going to come at you strictly because of your money. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't come at anybody. <laughs> because I'm not interested in dating anybody. And that's just damn truth. But what I'm saying is there's a lot of problems here. There's theft in here. There's big ticket recreational items about to get stolen. But they were purchased with stolen money anyways. And... Apparently problems in marriages, serious mar uh, problems to the point where there's about to be like a head-on divorce. And I feel it was because of money. But the spouses knew they stole the money. So they were accomplices to the shit anyways. Several shocking series of shame events are about to cover several of these situations soon. One of these spouses is about to go to the police. And reveal all the information they know. They're about to get out of this shit. Several shocking series of shame events are about to occur with this with these situations. There's at least two situations in the universe. Um, I heard. Um, oh my god. Um, one of these spouses of these thievers. I heard they're about to go to the police soon and reveal all the information they know. I heard about to get out of this shit. So they are about. I think they know they're an accomplice to crime or crimes, or they're about to realize they're an accomplice to crime or crimes. I think they know these large ticket items and maybe other things were purchased on stolen money. And so, and they're not happy in the marriage, whether they married for money or not. I'm not judging. I just feel some of them all did marry for money, and I'm just being for real. I'd never do that, but, you know, I'm not judging. But how that resonates, one of these spouses, now, you could be the spouse about to go to the police sir ma'am or not i don't know only you know your story not anybody else but i am pulling you in strong one of these spouses is about to go to the police they're unhappy in the marriage they're unhappy in this situation unhappy period they're about to go reveal information on um everything they know i think on so whatever you know sir ma'am um how that resonates um in your particular situation okay um, I think you realize you're an accomplice or you did realize you were an accomplice to crime or crimes and you're about to go get yourself out of it and legally with the divorce too. And I don't blame you. Hell, if I was in that, I would too. But that's why I don't marry no, no, no damn body and that's why I don't have friends because I don't want to be an accomplice to Mr. Crimes and that's just the same truth. All right. I love you guys. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't.
All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. Hope this helps and namaste.